The country will continue to experience power shortages until 2017 as any negative development in neighboring countries, especially those supplying electricity to Namibia, will have a corresponding negative effect on electricity supply in the country. The most serious power supply deficit will be experienced mainly between 2016 and 2018. During this period, serious power supply deficits will be experienced mainly because of the new step loads and expiry of a number of ex existing properties agreement referred to earlier that will be difficult to renegotiate or to extend. However, the power utility has put in place short and medium term projects to continue living up to its mandate of continuous and stable power supply. The projects include demand site management, the fan egg refurbishment, the runner's replacement at Rakana, as well as the development of the 250 megawatts power plant. The plant to be procured through a transparent bidding process will operate in a base load mode till 2017 and in mean merit or picking or standby mode after 2018. A special purpose vehicle in which NAM power will have up to 30% equity will be created to develop the project in order to tap into the private sector capital, innovation and expertise to achieve its goal. Shilamba added that after 2018 the plant will complement Kutu by saving some peaks, especially during dry season, and to operate when or both Kutu 450 megawatts block are out of service for planned or unplanned maintenance. Other medium and long-term generation projects include Kutu Power Station, the Baines Hydro Power Project between Namibia and Angola, Biomass Power Plant and Transmission Projects.